shines. There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Now oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. SpongeBob, I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that... Opening presents.
Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll see you do that. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Jellyfish today, I'm going fishing for robots. I feel like a new sponge.
jump for a golden spatula. 